Hi everyone, this is the career reading that you have been waiting for and can I just say one thing, it literally just turned 11-11. I mean, the chances of that happening, let's just, oh my gosh, just look at that 11-11. Wow, sorry, I just got some like TikTok notifications on there, <laughs> I'm just like covering up, you know, the usernames. Anyways, um, you can also follow me on TikTok if you wanted to. By the way, I'm filming this on the 11th of May as well. How crazy is that? 11, 11, 11. Okay, okay. Wow, so many synchronicities. You know what? This is a career reading that so many of you have requested and we're finally doing it, getting around to it. I do these from time to time, of course, but I just have realized that so many more... Um, of you have wanted this so here we are um so yes if you wanted to follow me on tiktok it's moonlight guidance the other thing i wanted to mention as well is if you would like to win a free reading with me check out the description box below since i do a giveaway every single month private paid readings those are also listed down below as well they're done within 24 to 48 hours of course they are with me and the last thing i want to mention is my intention manifesting items are on etsy such as handmade bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels embroidered cards which you can put on your pillow your wallet or your purse. Check out the review section to see how people have seen results with these items. As you can tell, I love making things. <laughs> and um, also, there's sage on there, there's crystals, divination, coins, charms, pendulums, cloths, bowls, etc. From me to you, the link is down below. And uh, yes, so let's get started. We've got here group one with the Mystic Mondays tarot deck. We've got group two with the Groovy Weight deck and the reason why some of them look smaller is because the cards are much much thicker in these kinds of decks than it is in this one so yeah the card thickness does make a bit of a difference as you can see it's a pretty big difference um so group two groovy weight group three is the monopoly tarot which i have to say you know when it comes to sort of like career and finances that is a very interesting deck and uh, if you like monopoly or you're just drawn to group three that is the one for you <laughs> group four here is rider weight um it's a version of rider weight so, uh, yeah, whichever one you are most drawn to, timestamps are down below. You can go ahead and click on it and it will take you to your reading. Um, so, yeah, let's begin. Let's begin. Okay, I'm just going to move some stuff to the side. I feel such a good energy. I, 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 I just feel it. <laughs> All right, let's just move these to the side. There we go. All right, group number one, the career reading you've been waiting for. Let's see what messages we have for you in regards to your career. You've got this beautiful pentacle, which I just, I took it out of the, the bucket. So let's just put it into the bucket. This one's actually reflecting quite a lot. There we go. It's, it's a little bit better because it was just reflecting so, 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 so much. Um, now it looks like there's one pentacle in there. That's okay. So <laughs> let's have a look. Shuffle these cards, see what's coming through for your career. Okay, so the first cards that came out were pentacle cards. I see here the death card, okay, and I also see justice along with the six of wands and the three of swords. So let's put those down. We've got the four of pentacles, five of pentacles, three of swords, six of wands, justice with death. Do not be afraid of this. Okay, for those of you that are like, oh no, hell, I'm out of here, like, you know, trying to click off the video, I say stay. And the reason I say that is because this is not bad. This is showing a change. It is showing a change in your career. It is showing you, for some of you, you're switching paths where, where you might be working for someone and then you work for yourself, for example. For those of you already working for yourself, this can be branching out 
and perhaps ending something and then starting something new, right? This could be a company, this could be um, starting a new job, for example, because death is death and rebirth. The Three of Swords does show, you know, a bit of sadness for sure uh, in regards to ending something, but also knowing that it's for the highest good. Now, this tends to happen as well, if, you, if I give you an analogy, it happens when, for example, children are moving schools, right? Or they're moving, um, you know, to another part, like they have to say goodbye to all the people that they know, but inherently they know that this change could be better for them or it was a purpose to it so you know change can still trigger emotion even though the change can be good right so I want you to keep in mind that the three of swords really does show here um, especially with the five of pentacles this sort of sense of like loneliness as you venture into this new path which actually is going to give you so much more so for some of you you may feel like okay I'm going to venture into this new avenue where perhaps I set up my own business or I set up something completely new you may feel alone right where you are doing this completely by yourself and that's the four of pentacles like you're just you know trying to do this all by yourself and you feel like the five of pentacles where perhaps you may not have as much support but ultimately you are going to go in a direction which is going to be very fulfilling and very progressive from what I pick up which I think is just going to be amazing and wonderful and lovely because the six of wands shows celebration and victory right so this it's it's sort of short term short term it's not pain I don't want really to describe it as pain, but it's it's short term being alone, doing all the work for long term gain, right? Um, and justice here shows that what you really want out of things you will receive. So that's pretty significant, <laughs> really, really significant. And justice is also about contracts and things being resolved, solved, things coming together. I think that's huge. I think that is really beautiful and genuinely amazing. So there's a lot of that energy that we do pick up on here, which I think is just so wonderful and really, really lovely. So definitely a really good energy for sure. The Six of Wands, I think is, is just very powerful because the Six of Wands is definitely an energy which is tied to moving forward it's to do with growth right it's not about being stuck in the same kind of situation where you're outgrowing it some of you are outgrowing your own workplaces from what i see now for those of you in education right i just see here that you're going to be going to a job first and foremost which is going to teach you a lot more and then you're going to branch out so that's the kind of vibe we see but a lot of you here have outgrown your workspaces and uh, speaking about growing you know if you have been in education for a while and then you're for example eventually going to you know graduate or leave of course then you've outgrown that but you're not going to stay there forever right you have to then go out and then actually do this right so that that's the thing as well is that we don't always stay in school forever unless some people choose to right so that's the thing is that you do outgrow that and then you've got to kind of go into the other chapter or the other venture of things four of pentacles here shows you saving a lot of money and i feel like this is also um this can be financial investments this can also be for essentially trying to save to have more stability what i do see in terms of money is that you'll be able to save a lot of money the thing with the four of pentacles here is that it really does show as well that for many of you the change in terms of finances is going to be one which can be quite sudden, okay? So it, it's almost um, as though you don't really expect things to, to really go this direction, but they do, and you're like, whoa, like that was pretty quick, and uh, you're just taken aback, and you're like, whoa, how did that happen, you know? It's that kind of vibe. I'm just going to grab my water for a second. Hold on a second, let me just get out. Okay, so ultimately... That is what I'm seeing right now. I mean, I think it's a really powerful energy. I think that it's a great energy in many ways because it really does go to show that there's, you know, a lot that is progressing. There's a lot that is moving um, for you in a good direction. Queen of Cups. Really listening to your gut and your intuition. You're doing the absolute most you can for yourself. So that's ultimately the biggest thing that I see here. The Queen of Cups really does represent a very, very powerful energy, which is tied to your gut and your intuition. The Queen of Cups is about listening to yourself. It's about doing what is right for yourself, not what other people are telling you. That's the thing that I see with some of you as well. You may feel that um, there are parental figures or people around you that just keep saying certain things. They keep saying you need to do this, you need to do that, you have to do things like this, if you do that, you're a failure. 
um, you know, it, it can also be just really heartbreaking. So some of that can come from your expect the expectations and pressures that are placed onto you. I would say listen to your gut and your intuition because that's what's going to give you success, right? And also, you are the one that's going to be working hard, not other people, right? They're not going to be working hard for you. So you have to make choices and decisions that really do suit you because that's you aligning to your divine self, your highest self. Then we also have the Five of Cups, see? Five of Cups is about sadness, but this is sadness that other people have caused upon you in terms of what they are saying and what they are doing. The Five of Cups can also make you feel very alone, make you feel like, why doesn't anyone understand me? But then I think that you're going to take this leap of faith and it's going to bring upon a sudden change where you're going to do things for yourself. I see many of you saving so that you can make something out of the things that you want to do for yourself, right? I definitely see a change though. I see so many of you changing where you're in this environment where you may even find that it's a toxic workplace or just a really toxic environment and you're trying to basically get out of it. You're trying to find justice, make a change and basically get out of it with some form of like, you know, financial resource or saving that you you have from the workplace um, in order to, to find basically freedom after feeling very sort of trapped in that environment. There you go, Wheel of Fortune, change of fate. Wheel of Fortune is one of the best cards to get because the Wheel of Fortune here represents more money, more stability, a change, right? A change which brings you so much more. And the Wheel of Fortune is very powerful because the Wheel of Fortune really does represent a sense of progressive energy. It represents, and it's for 10, which is about completion. And it's Jupiter energy. And Jupiter is all about success, abundance, and prosperity. Nine of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, there you go, there you go, look at this, right? Nine of Swords is you trying to get out of this mindset of just feeling so stressed, so burdened and so worried, but eventually the change is going to come, the change will come where you make yourself, you, you make yourself over, hold on a second, you get yourself over to this abundance, the the Princess of Pentacles here is a very strong card which represents progression, it represents growth, it represents happiness, it shows you taking charge and actually going towards it and making something happen. This is you taking charge towards the things that you know you want to do, taking charge towards things that make you feel good, that make you feel happy, that make you feel complete. Also, the Ten of Pentacles is beautiful because the Ten of Pentacles really does represent abundance and things coming together. It represents your finances and things progressing to such a degree and such a level. Also, the Ten of Pentacles is really, really significant because it represents a completion in terms of finances and it really represents a lot of stability. So some of you, of course, are in challenging situations right now or situations you don't really want to be in, right? But I see a change happening in regards to all of this. You're not going to be in this situation forever. And that is the biggest thing here. Now, we're going to do charms and letters. So let's get our way over to those. Okay. So the letters can be initials, it can also spell out words, so. And that thing also came out, so we got, oh wow, look at this, J, J O B. okay? You will have a job, especially for those of you that are unemployed, you, you will have that, okay? Especially um, because I do see the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, right? So yes, you will, if you feel like things are stagnant and stationary, it's there got a H, a U, and an N, hun, hun, <laughs> and another H as well, I just literally knocked over my sphinx, one second, you get to see how I actually made it, yes, got cardboard on the back, there we go, it sits up nicely, okay, so, two H's there, okay, so let's go to charms, here so we've got some other letters as well I got an E and I think there was another E here somewhere yeah E E something you really enjoy look at that sort of like kissy face Hun Hun is very interesting maybe that's somebody you know romantically or someone that really cares for you 
is sort of impacting your work. So this could be, you know, someone who's telling you like, no, actually you should do this or you should do that. And you're like, I'm not sure. Someone close to you. I think in the end, they may be supportive once they start seeing the success. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Um, you've got here this really, yeah, that's how you're going to be looking. Okay. That's how you're going to be looking. That's, that's what's coming. Fish energy, go with the flow, Pisces energy as well, right? Queen of Cups energy, listen to yourself, your gut, your intuition, do things that feel good for you. 10 out of 10, recommended. You've got here, this is actually, this is so cute, this charm is so cute, it's a cookie cutter, right? So why be the same as everyone else when you could be different, right? Also, the cookie cutter is a star, which shows here that your wishes will come true. You've got a full stop here as well. Okay, some people might be saying, no, you should do this, full stop. And you're like, um, no, I don't want to do that. Hashtag here, which could be to do with social media, online searches. You've got here a uh, cacti or cactus. There's like two, I don't know. You know, this is about being unique and protecting yourself essentially as well. Again, you've got this like romantic energy. There's some kind of romance in regards to this work environment that I pick up. Um, doesn't, I'm not saying that you have got romance, but it very much so can be that you enter into a partnership with someone um, in regards to work or there's some kind of support that you either may have or that you may lack in regards to your work. So many of you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And then you've got here, I don't know if this is a llama or an alpaca, please let me know. But it's so cute. It's so fuzzy. And also this is about values, right? Because that's also what it represents, it represents your values and doing what you really want to do as well. So you've got the flower, which shows there'll be a lot of bloom and growth and your wishes will come true. But you know, why be the same when you could be different? So then there's that, you know? So keep thinking of cookies as well. I was just saying, I was just saying. Um, so that's what we had there. So yeah, I really, you know, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on um, Etsy. So do check those out if you're interested. And this is pretty much your reading. So we are now gonna go to group number two. So I'm just gonna take away these letters. Oh no, it's the first time that didn't work out. Okay, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right, it's all right, all right, all right. Group two. All right, group two. The career reading you have been waiting for. Let's have a look and see what's coming through. Take away the pentacle. This is the groovy weight deck. Let's see what we have message-wise for your career. All right, let's begin. We're also going to do a charm reading as well, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> First, we're going to do the tarot spread. We've got the hermit here. Some of you are really wondering what's in your path, right? You're thinking what's next, and some of you might be overthinking. There's a quite strong Virgo energy, but it's also about just recognizing and realizing that there's more to come. There's more to come. I feel like there's an energy here of more to come. Like some of you are thinking, what is next? Like, am I just going to be in the same place for the next 10 years, next five years, next year? I just feel very much so that the hermit is sort of this energy of isolation where some of you might feel like, oh, I just, I'm not so sure about what I'm doing. You know, is, is there going to be, you know, a better opportunity, a bigger opportunity? And uh, we'll see, we'll see. There's a lot of thinking in this regard. Knight of Wands with a Knight of Cups. I am an upright reader, as many of you know, I always have been. Okay, so, you know, Knight of Cups with a Knight of Wands shows opportunity coming your way. Now, when there is this 
energy of opportunity coming your way, it really goes to show here, um, especially with the hanged man as well, hanged man is the Neptune energy, it's very important to listen to your gut and your intuition, because I see two opportunities here. Um, you've got the Knight of Wands energy, which is something you're super, super passionate about, and then the Knight of Cups here shows like sort of emotional satisfaction. So there's two opportunities, both look really great, and you're going to have to make a decision in regards to these, because one here is something that you would just absolutely go towards, you know, you're super, super passionate about it, but it may not necessarily, especially in the beginning, pay you as much. So there's something to keep in mind. The other opportunity here seems to give you emotional and financial satisfaction. So then there's that, you know, um, but this this one here looks to be one that you would just like, you know, you would want to take because you're just so drawn to, to what it gives you in terms of what you love to do. It's like it would be your dream job. So keep that in mind, but it may not pay you as much. So I do see a change here, um, especially for those of you that are already working. I see a change where you may move down a new path and a new avenue in regards to your career. But the Hanged Man is definitely a very strong Neptune energy, and this Neptune energy is tied to Pisces, which is very spiritual. Um, I mean, some of you, yes, you might be going down the path of spirituality, but I don't see that for everyone. So the main thing that I see with the Hanged Man is about listening to your gut and your intuition when it comes to making decisions. Meditation can be very powerful because it helps to calm down the mind, and you're allowed to, well, you're allowed to, you're basically allowing yourself to go into um, a vibrational energy level which is very calm and very very peaceful and this allows you to make the best decisions that's why they say don't make decisions when you're really heated or angry or exceptionally emotional um, because sometimes you know might make decisions that are not really coming from ourselves it's coming more so from emotion um which is not a bad thing but you know sometimes we, well we want to make sure we make the right decisions correct so something to keep in mind okay so that's what we have right there which i think is quite significant with the two knights and the hanged man um yeah so let's keep Four of Swords. Okay, so this is about peace. This is something that gives you a lot of peace and a lot of fulfillment as well. So there's definitely something here that's going to give you quite a bit of peace and you're going to feel quite happy in regards to it from what I can pick up. So and that's what we have there. You've got the Four of Swords. Uh, sorry, Four of Swords, Four of Wands. Four of Wands is beautiful and it's very divine. So it does show here um, there's a really, really powerful energy of within four years you are going to be doing something that gives you so much peace, so much satisfaction, so much happy happiness. You've got here the Ace of Pentacles group two. Ace of Pentacles. This here is about money. It is financial abundance. It is being offered out to you. Look, even if you choose to take on board what you absolutely love in regards to your um, career, you know, it may be slow to, to sort of get things rolling, but I do see here a lot of financial abundance and, you know, it's really best for you to do what is best for you in regards to financial stability. Um, you know, you've got here the Six of Cups, which shows an opportunity being offered out to you, which I think is just beautiful. It just goes to show that there are opportunities there for you to take and to embark on. We have got the Wheel of Fortune, which is also just so, so beautiful. The Wheel of Fortune is beautiful for multiple reasons. First of all, the Wheel of Fortune really represents such a powerful and such a strong energy which is tied um, essentially to Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of money, prosperity, auspicious energy, um, financial abundance, success, all of those aspects, right? It's a planet that is larger than life, like that is a huge planet. You know, Jupiter is a big, big planet and the thing about Jupiter as well is that it's very, very powerful. Um, even though it's further away, it's a huge planet, which makes it very powerful as well. But you know what's really interesting about this energy is it shows step by step. So things will happen slowly but surely. 
progressively, step by step, these opportunities will come to you. So it's not like you're going to have to make really rushed decisions. I think the more you are aligned to yourself and your vibrational energy and you're listening to yourself and what you want to do, the more it works for you rather than against you. So listen to yourself, listen to your gut, listen to your instincts, listen to your intuition when making choices and decisions because ultimately with the four of wands, things are coming together for you. It's not going against you, it's coming together for you. And I think that that is also something really important to keep in mind. There's opportunities, there's, there's multiple opportunities. Some of you might just be like, there's not much right now, but essentially the hermit right now is in this energy of sort of being like, okay, there's not much now, but that doesn't mean that there's not going to be much for the future. There will be so much for the future. Even the hanged man, like sometimes you might be in your own bubble thinking like, okay, like is anything going to happen? It will, it's step by step over the course of time. And uh, really four years from now, I definitely do see a lot of financial abundance, but also you're just feeling so happy in your own energy, you know, because the four of wands is also about the divine energy. It's about 11-11. If you guys saw the introduction for my video, you know that I saw 11.11 literally when I started the video. For those of you that see repeating numbers, especially like 11.11, it's a fire energy number. And this number is very, very significant because it basically is telling you that you're on the right path in your life. But what balances out fire? It's water, right? Water is about your yourself. It is your emotion. It is about what makes you feel good. It is also about your gut and your instincts, right? So that's the balance there is to really look out for yourself as well and your career will also elevate and go to the next level. Um, so I think that's really important, right? So let's continue on. Yeah, there's definitely opportunities and money coming. You know, continue to, to, to do what's best for you with the Hermit and the Hanged Man. Justice. Emperor. <laughs> wow, Major Arcana is here. Justice. Okay, so justice is about really having what you deserve, your good karma coming back to you, getting what you truly, truly deserve in terms of your career, having a lot of happiness, having a lot of satisfaction, having a lot of fulfillment. That's what's coming to you. And I think that this is going to make you feel like, wow, okay, all right, wonderful. That's nice. You know, you will feel very, very happy in regards to all of this. And then you also have here the emperor, which is you working towards things, getting things done. This will be recognized by people in your work environment. For those of you that are unemployed, there are opportunities coming. For those of you that are employed, there are opportunities coming. For those of you that are students watching this, there are opportunities coming. <laughs> okay, so really, um, whatever kind of situation you're in, yeah, right now, nine of wands, you might be thinking, wondering, pondering, contemplating things, wondering what's next, what's going to happen next, how is it going to happen, you know, with the hermit and the hanged man. I would say keep calm and carry on. Because essentially, step by step, these opportunities will come onto your plate. You won't have to go begging for them right? I would say, yeah, you can go searching for them and, and have a look at what's out there. But ultimately, I don't see you begging for an opportunity. You're going to make opportunities happen for you. And also, it's not going to be to a point where you have to chase, chase, chase. Those opportunities will then also be handed to you in the form of an offer. You know, so ultimately, the stars are aligning for you. Jupiter is there to support you. Let's live in that abundant energy. Do things for yourself. Listen to your gut and your intuition. And it's happening, okay? It's coming. So let's go to your charms and your letters. I'm just actually going to do the charms first. Just grab them. Oh, I see an airplane. I see the baking tray as well. You know, the thing is, you have a tray. And everybody does in a spiritual form, I guess. And even I have one here. There we go, right? The universe will put things onto our plate. It's coming, okay? Those things are coming. You may think right now that your tray is perhaps a little bit empty, a little bit lacking, like you want a little bit more, right? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, trust me. I mean, look at the amount of things that you have here as well. Um, you've got here a dummy. So perhaps some of you work in regards to education um, or children. That's really interesting, okay? There could be an opportunity in regards to that, working with children perhaps, or something to do with children. I, I'm, I'm just saying, okay, it, it could be. The, the thing here is that now we get into the charms, they can resonate in very different ways. Some of you perhaps working in regards to travel, okay? Um, the tray here can also represent baking. It could represent um, making, like, for example, like food and restaurants, things like that. Okay, we also have here the world as well. So again, there's something to do with travel. We've got this orange stick, which represents mentoring. 
which I think is very interesting. And sacral chakra energy is about mentoring, um, which I think is very interesting. You've got here the heart eyes as well. I think that's really interesting. Again, doing something that you're very passionate about. You've got also the crown chakra energy, which is about understanding and enlightenment. That's Pisces, Neptune energy as well. It's also about grace and beauty. So some of you perhaps are into sort of beauty and things like this. This can be you taking a bunch of your hobbies and making it into one. Um, keep that in mind. You've got the shooting star as well. There's a shooting star somewhere else. I swear I saw a shooting star. Mm. I mean, I see stars. I swear I saw a shooting star like this. Um, but, you know, the shooting star really represents, like, your wish and how it's going to fulfill. Look at this really happy energy. I also be, see you being very support, uh, very much so supported in regards to love. So I see a lot of stability. It can also be, and I just want to say this as well, that for many of you who are perhaps um, unmarried at this time, it may be that you meet someone who has a lot of financial stability and so that you can live out your hobbies and you can just do the things that you really, really enjoy. Right now, obviously, you know, you may get certain opportunities but not be able to maybe choose a lot of them because you need financial support so obviously make decisions according to what's really necessary for you in your life um, but I do feel that later on down the line like some of you who are not married and you're looking to be married or you're looking for a long-term partner this person can be financially very successful and then you can actually start to do more of the things that you want to do as well on the side that maybe they don't give so much financially back but actually they build and give you so much more financially back, if that makes sense. Because I see your finances growing over the course of time, not just suddenly being handed to you very quickly. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. And you've also got here the kissing face. What's well, it's a slight kissing face, not the one with the love heart, you know. Um, you've got a C here as well, so that's really interesting. Oh, and you've got the crown, right? So, Wow. You know, the crown I think is important and quite significant because the crown really does represent a very, very powerful energy of being in power and feeling empowered and actually being able to have the ability to do what you want when you want to do it. So that's really very, 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 very significant. This is going to resonate with some of you in, in lots of different ways, but let me know. Let me know in the comment section. I, I really do want to know. Now, for the letters, this can be initials. It can also spell out words. You've got an F, a C, an O a H, a W, a P, a W, so you got wow, okay, so you will be doing things that you really like, I have a feeling that it could be multiple things, and um, for some of you, this could also be investments, okay, investments that you have that allow you to do multiple things that you enjoy, so something to keep in mind, and you might be investing with a partner or with somebody else, and um, that's really interesting as well, so you, it's almost like you go from kind of feeling a bit low, right, a bit low, to wow, how, and pow. <laughs> ah, anyways, um, so yeah, anyways, that's that's pretty much what we do have. Uh, let's keep the wow there. So that is literally what we've got. You may see some other um, words there. I also see flop as well, flop, F-L-O-P, and hop, H-O-P. So you might be like hopping from different things, but um, essentially, it's going to be a wow, okay? And you're going to be like, how? How did that happen? But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So group number two, this is your reading. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on Etsy. And also, do follow me on TikTok if you haven't already. It's literally just Moonlight Guidance. Uh, one of my videos actually just blew up yesterday and I was like, what? <laughs> like how? Um, I guess the algorithm on TikTok is one where if it wants to push something, it would just push something. And I was like, huh? Um, so yeah, follow me on there. I guess I'm, you know, I'm, I've always been sort of posting quite regularly. So um, if you wanted to see very short little readings and messages, uh, that's, a, that's a place to come if you wanted to. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you will take care, and if you wanted to uh, come back for another video on my channel, feel free to do so. I always invite you back. You're welcome to, to come whenever you wanted to. Okay, so let's take away these letters, uh, if they want to. All right, flow. Flow was the other, another word that we saw as well, typical. And also cow, which, okay, I mean, that's interesting, but, you know, maybe it's to do with food. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really eat cows but you know like, it's something that people do eat but um anywho um <laughs> that's what we've got let's put these in here and 
take away the cards. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for the next deck. You know, if I was to choose a deck, I know this is going to sound a little bit biased, but I would have chosen group three. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know why, you know, it's it's the deck. It is the deck, and I love the number three as well. Um, I'm giving you a little secret. Like, if I was to ever choose, I'd probably choose number three, and I you need to pick a card reading, so that's my number. That is my number. Okay. All right, group number three, we have here the Monopoly Tarot, which I'm so excited about. And we have also got the Pentacle. So let's just put the Pentacle here. We're gonna see what is coming through in terms of messages for the career reading that you have been waiting for. All right, so yeah, I, I just, this, this deck, I mean, Monopoly Tarot just goes so nicely with the theme of the reading. So let's have a look and see what's coming through and then we will also get into the charms and the letters. Okay, so we have strength. Okay, strength. Ace of Pentacles, which says starting stable avenue. How nice is that? You know, number eight is also known to be a very auspicious number, very, very lucky number in certain cultures as well. And also when I look at the number eight, I think of the infinity symbol, which goes to show that your abundance is just going to flow. And when it starts flowing, it is not going to stop. It's a little bit like a tap. Imagine a tap, right? Which is flowing and flowing and flowing and flowing, but with abundance and um, financial success and resources that um, help you. I mean, it just keeps flowing and flowing and flowing. That's a beautiful blessing. Um, in many ways. Then we've also got here the Hermit and the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my goodness, group three. You know, I was really hyped about this group number three reading before I had even filmed, you know, started filming. And then right at the beginning, I was like, you know, Monopoly Tarot, Monopoly Tarot. And then literally after I did the group two reading, I was clearing things up. Um, I was actually saying as well, just how, you know, group three, I just felt this vibe, you know, so... Oh, there's something about group three. Okay, I'm not trying to be biased or anything, but like, let, let me just say that the energies of group three was really, really screaming out at me before I even started. So, you know, there we go. Now, um, the Hermit here definitely shows ideas. The Ace of Pentacles here shows you starting a venture. Now, this could be to do with investments. It could be to do with a new career. It could be do, to do with mentoring people. But essentially, it's going to bring you so much more financially and it's going to bring you more opportunities. So it's not just going to bring you like an opportunity in terms of like, okay, it's just going to bring you a job. It's going to bring you like clients and customers who will be able to support what you do. So I think that that is really interesting is it's not just showing the opportunity of a job or the opportunity of a partnership. It's showing the opportunity of you attracting people who are going to be bringing more of this to you. So that's really interesting. And then the Wheel of Fortune, you've got the eight, the nine, and the 10, which shows progression here for you as well in regards to your finances, but also in regards to how you feel. A strength card, you're gonna feel like you are if invincible. You're going to feel like, wow, you know what? I can do what I want to do. I'm strong. I'm confident, not in an egoistic way, but where you just believe in what you're doing and you feel happy and you feel strong and you feel empowered. The hermit is beautiful. You know why? Because the hermit is a strong, strong Virgo energy. You know, we've got like Leo and Virgo energy. So this can also represent sort of Leo and Virgo season, which technically that would go from around about like the 22nd of August. Like whenever you're watching this, this is a timeless reading. Okay. So think about, you know, when August, September sort of play, falls into place, but, um, yeah, the, sorry, the Virgo, yeah, Leo energy starts on the 22nd of July. And then the Virgo energy ends because, you know, it's consecutive. So Sun enters Leo 22nd of July. Sun enters Virgo, Virgo on the 22nd of August. And then Virgo season ends on the 22nd of September. So it goes from like the end-ish of July all the way to the end-ish of September. And that is a window and a period of time that is going to bring you a lot of abundance. A lot of abundance. It is a time to look for opportunities. It is a time to put, you know, extra work in where possible. Obviously, you know, take a break. I'm not saying like go flat out and, you know, and hurt yourself. Like that's not what I'm saying, but, um, or drain yourself. But no, I'm not saying that. Obviously, 
there seems to be a venture that starts around this time that gives you a lot of abundance and it just seems to be one where it really warms your heart and it gives you tons of ideas. Like you might even be coming up with ideas and selling your ideas, but the Wheel of Fortune is about abundance, prosperity, it's Jupiter. I literally cannot believe this. And I, I, I don't know how this happened, but group one, two, and three all got the Wheel of Fortune. They were all in dif different contexts. You know, it wasn't all like happy and bubbly in, in all of the readings, but let's be honest, the Wheel of Fortune here goes to show that it's connecting so, so beautifully to the question, which is to do with money, because Jupiter is to do with money, success, career, um, auspicious energy, it's to do with progression, right? So the Wheel of Fortune here does show that your finances are going to change for the better. The Wheel of Fortune is showing that you are going to get stronger. The Wheel of Fortune shows you are gonna have more ideas. The Wheel of Fortune shows you investing into things. And the Wheel of Fortune shows so many more ideas and opportunities coming your way. Oh my goodness, group number three. If you are claiming this energy, um, write in the comment section below, group three, or group three or pile three, I claim it because, oh my goodness, such a powerful energy is coming through where old ways are falling apart and new things are coming together. The tower is not an inherently bad card in the context of this because essentially it shows here that any weaknesses that come through, you are going to fix those weaknesses. Now the tower, yes, can indicate things falling apart, but the tower is indicating that certain things are going to fall apart for better things to fall into place or to come together. So do not be afraid of that tower. It's Mars energy, okay? And Mars energy is essentially triggered for a strong purpose for things to realign, all right? So keep that in mind. Oh, wow. God, so many cards here. Let's take them all. So we've got the moon. Okay, so the moon here is about cycles and phases. So things are going to change for you. Things are going to progress for you. Better things are gonna to come together, especially if you feel with the tower that, oh my God, you know, what I'm doing is not sustainable. It's not gonna last. I'm losing money or I just don't know what's gonna come. This tower energy is going to bring forward so much more security where things will be so much more simplified. See the 10 of swords here, darkest before dawn way. Things may be dark right now, but dawn will come, okay? Darkest before dawn way, Ten of Swords is about a completion, okay? A completion which leads to something new. Again, cycles and phases, as we see here. We've got here the Ten of Wands, heavy burdened gardens, which means whatever's really weighing you down is going to come to an end because, again, we see cycles and shifts and changes, right? So there's going to be much more that is better for you that is going to progress and come together, especially with these four cards at the bottom. This is what you are probably dealing with right now or just feeling a little bit uncertain about. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles, supporter of generosity and security. So the Queen of Pentacles really goes to show a lot of support coming your way. This can be from other people. This can be in regards to your career. It can also be you supporting yourself and just having a ton of security, especially financially as time goes by. You've got the Two of Wands, which is forward movement guard and see you're moving forward right especially with the heavy burden gardens the ten of swords ten of wands you are moving forward when you hit the tens the cycle starts you know again in that sense it's also a little bit like you know when people say ah oh, it's all about the journey rather than destination which I say all the time you know so I'm literally just mimicking myself it's true when you are thinking about things that you want right when you get to that particular thing and you get it things just don't end there there's still more to come right so when you think about a cycle and a phase that ends, there's still more to come, right? And so that's why I say enjoy the journey rather than just focusing on the destination because the destination will eventually come to you, but there's still going to be more past the destination. Um, so it shows here that you're moving forward, progressing forward, that there's more to come. You've got here the five of pentacles, struggle avenue. Some of you may be struggling not right now. Fives and tarot indicate change and progression and perspective. So this will change, okay? This struggle avenue is showing that darkest before dawn way. Things will progress. You will also get so much stronger through these issues and challenges that you are facing group number three. There is so much coming your way. And I definitely feel that these four cards show that in your energy right now where you may be struggling, you're gonna come up with ideas. You're gonna come up with new things that you want to do. You are going to essentially be starting, okay, because it says starting here, starting stable avenue. So some of you may feel really unstable right now. You may feel like, okay, I'm not exactly where I want to be. I'm not doing what I want to do, but you're going to be starting that. Okay, the wheel will turn. You also have a lot of power in that sense, right, into what you think and what you do. 
Actually, we didn't have that many extra cards. I was literally doing a 12 card spread and we got 13 cards. So actually we didn't get that many extra, but that's totally fine. We got one extra card. Queen of Cups, listen to your gut and your intuition. Okay, this is also crown chakra energy, which is to do with grace and serenity and enlightenment, understanding yourself. So a supporter of compassion and intuitive feelings. So really listen to your intuition in regards of things that you do want to do, in regards of things that you do want to progress with, um, which I think is very, very important. And then you've got here, Collaboration Avenue, Three of Pentacles. So some of you, I feel, in the future are going to set up your own businesses where you may be collaborating with different companies or different people, or you may have uh, employees of your own that you're working with, right? Um, who are supporting you and you're collaborating with. So I think that's really interesting. But Three of Pentacles is about also, for some of you who are in a work environment, who you know go into a work environment, this is about you know really getting on with people and it's like more of a teamwork makes the dream work kind of a vibe. Wow. Okay, so things are really coming together, group three. I believe it. I hope you see it. It's there, right? We had a lot of change, um, as in cycles and phases and darkest before dawn. You know, it's that kind of vibe. You know, they say that sometimes things get, you know, worse before they get better. And so this is just making you stronger. So that's what we see. So let's go to the letters first. So this can be initials and also spell out words. There's literally one that just fell on me. Hold on a second. There we go. So we've got a P. U U G Pug. That's interesting. Got Pug. Um, well, I know that it would technically be like that. Um, we've got here a D, a W, a U, an F, an X, a H, another X and an I, if, and also we've got fix as well, a lot of you want to sort of fix things, I've also got like Wix, and when I think of Wix, I think of website, you know, <laughs> build your own website, all right, so that's what we have there, let's go to the charms, okay, so we've got a bell, okay, so this shows here, Abundance, celebration, um, your time is coming, essentially. That's that's also something I really do want to mention. Your time is coming. Uh, we've got here a little glove as well. It's like a little mitten as well. So that's really interesting. It's sort of, this is actually um, sort of protection as well. So some of you are being protected here. And so you may feel like things are slow, but I feel like you're being protected. Oh my goodness, I forgot what this symbol is called. I know some of you mentioned it. Um, before as well. I believe it's a spiritual symbol, right? So, is it something to do with Wiccan? Wiccan? Um, you know, when I think of this, I think of values, I think of traditions. I also think of, again, protection as well. So, that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting from this particular um, charm. Then we also have this one, which kind of reminds me of like mechanics, you know, um, like, um, when you see all those wheels and they're like all turning and some mechanics of something, you know, everything's working in your favor from what I see here. I do feel like you're protected. We have here a ring. Okay, so what's really coming, uh, well, what's really meant for you is coming your way. And I really do feel like things will very much so progress. So I definitely feel like a lot more is going to manifest for you. I also see you being very committed to things in the future here, um, especially in terms of investments and things like that. We've got an at sign, so I see a lot of emails being sent. We also have which really represents the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. Hold on, let me put that in there for a second. Look, look at that, right? So the charms really are showing us direction, which I think this is also about. It's showing that things slowly but surely are going to progress, go in, you know, the direction that you really do need them to go in. And then finally, you've got here, love me. <laughs> love me. So I think that's really interesting because ultimately that's showing here is that you, know, you really want to do something that you absolutely love in terms of your career. Your career is like, come on, we can do this. You know, we can do this. We can progress in this way. It's, it's, it can happen. It's going to happen at some point. So yeah, that is what we have, group three. It will happen. It will happen. And this uh, is showing that your time will come. So this is your reading. Now, if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on Etsy as well. I also have TikTok, which is Moonlight Guidance, if you want to follow me on there for short readings. And stay safe, everyone, and take care.
Okay, so bye. Bye, everyone. Typical, typical. They're just not wanting to... There we go. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go to group number four. Last but never least, of course, of course. Group number four, the career reading you have been waiting for. So we've got the pentacle, let's take that away. This is the Rider Weight, um, the Rider Weight deck. So we'll see what is coming through. The career reading you have been waiting for. Let's see, let's see, let's see group number four. We're also gonna do a charm reading as well. So we'll definitely take a look into those after we've done the tarot spread. Okay, group number four, the devil. Okay, don't get scared, don't get scared. All right, do not get scared of the devil. Four of wands, see? Don't be scared of the devil, you've also got judgment. I am an upright reader, I thought I would mention that. You've also got the eight of cups here. Okay. All right, let's, let's start with these for now. So you've got the queen of cups here, you've got the six of wands. I, straight away, I see I see a change, okay? I see a very, very strong change here in regards to your career. I see you being like, you know what? I'm out of here. I am gonna go towards something that is just really meant for me, something that's so much better for me. And I see you doing this when essentially you just feel like, oh my God, you know, things are really toxic. I don't wanna be in this particular situation. I don't feel happy. I don't feel good. I really just wanna feel better and I wanna feel happier and I want to feel just you know, overall better. And that's what I see with the devil. The devil here shows that some of you are in a work environment or you're in an environment where you just feel like, oh my God, like I have to conform to this and this and this, and it's just too much. And some of you may be in a really toxic environment and it just might be a bit too much where you just want to break out of it. Some of you also feel like, oh my gosh, I have nothing. You know, I don't have a job. I don't know what's gonna happen to me because some of you are in education and you may just feel like, oh my God, like I feel like I'm cursed. Like I don't know what is gonna happen. So if you're feeling, okay, like this devil is just peering over you and has control over your career, it really doesn't. Because a lot of you, I also see, feel like, wow, you know, I must be cursed in regards to money. I must be cursed in regards to my stability. I must be cursed in general. Like a lot of you are feeling like there are blockages in regards to money that are just looking down at you. And I definitely feel here in many ways as well is that I don't necessarily feel like that is 100% the case because I feel like things will change. And the Four of Wands definitely does show that your stars are going to align, okay? And the Four of Wands shows divine timing. So for sure, this four is very, very powerful because it really does show that the right thing for you, the best thing for you is going to manifest, progress, and come together. You may feel right now like things are just not looking good or things are not you know, how you want them to be. But ultimately, the Four of Wands shows that there will be progression, there will be growth, and there will be change. Judgment here shows you making decisions for yourself, you looking for opportunities, and also for many of you as well, you might be just really manifesting in a way where you are trying to do the absolute most you can for you. The judgment card is very, very strong because judgment really does represent on just so many levels this exceptionally powerful energy which is to do with, you know, really just doing the absolute most that you can do for yourself. Judgment is very powerful as well because it really is to do with the fact that what I see here, um, well, I do feel is very important as well, is that there's a really, really strong and very powerful energy um, to do with celebration, success, and a beautiful opportunity coming your way, eight of cups, walking away from things that really are not serving you, and having the opportunity to do so, do so, because a lot of people get stuck in situations that they don't want to be in, and they can't just walk away, you know, there's too many implications if they do that, you know, financially they could you know, not have as much stability or there could be contracts involved, you know, things like that. But I see being able to walk away from this particular um, situation and 
you know, I'll, I'll give you an explanation. Um, for example, once I used to work for a company and they would always have a clause in there where there are certain companies you can't then go and work for because it's so specific to their company. And the crazy thing is, is that the company that eventually headhunted me, they actually found me because you upload your portfolio online and things like that. Um, they had found me and it was so lucky that their company was not on the list of companies that was on my contract so then I could actually leave the company that I was in, which was a toxic environment, and actually go to this other company. And it's so crazy because it was one of their rivals, but they never put it onto the contract. Kind of crazy that they even, they even did that. Like It was a big oversight on their part that they did, never did that. But this is the kind of vibe that I'm getting, right? Where you have the ability to leave your environment with no other implications, where you can go somewhere else and they can't be like, no, you can't go there. Because there are, there are so many of those situations that I've also come across with so many of you who come to me for readings as well. And it's one of those things, you know, sometimes there's like contracts put into place where you can't actually leave a situation or you can't do something else career wise because there's been something signed or people don't want you to do the so or they can, you know, say certain things. So ultimately, the good news here is that you are able to leave these particular situations and do what you really want to. And I think that that's quite significant. Okay, so I that honestly just reminded me of like what I used to do. So <laughs> or what I once did before, you know, in terms of my work before, obviously, I did tarot professionally. But that's so crazy. That is honestly so, so crazy that that kind of just related. But yeah, that's that's what I see here. So you have the ability to walk away and basically have so much more abundance. You know what this, this person literally looks like the same person here. And the same person here. Oh, okay. Um, so the Queen of Wands here shows your abilities and it really shows you doing what you absolutely love. Queen of Cups is you connecting to your gut and your instincts and really doing what you want to do, right? This is you listening to yourself, doing what you want to do, progressing for yourself, making things work for yourself. This is you doing the absolute most for yourself and just being so proud of yourself. The star here is about the stars aligning. Okay, the star is also about releasing. So you're going to change course from what I see here and it's going to bring things together. Magician here is about things coming together. Magician is about the law of attraction. It's also communication, searching and finding these opportunities. But ultimately, you have a lot of power and the Four of Swords is doing something that gives you more peace than it does this toxic vibe, toxic energy. You know, you're not going to be stuck, basically. Temperance, especially for those of you who are in a toxic environment, you will get another opportunity so that you can leave this one. Temperance, angels are supporting you. This is also an angel card, 1111. Um, shows you're on the right path in your life. It's a fire energy. Also, we saw 1111 right when I had done the introduction for this video and I showed you guys that I saw 1111. So some of you might be seeing the, the repeating number, um, but Temperance here is showing that slowly but surely things are working out for you, warming up for you, things are progressing. So, you know, there is there is a lot of that where things will progress and good things will come towards you and come for you. You've got the King and the Queen of Cups as well. Look at that. So King and Queen of Cups, you will be in alignment with yourself and you will find an opportunity which gives you a lot of mental, emotional, emotional and spiritual fulfillment and growth where you feel like wow okay like things really did you know come together and really come together in such a beautiful beautiful way where you feel very aligned within yourself and something that gives you so much emotional abundance stability security also financially as well so yes I do see money here but I also see that emotionally you'll feel good because some of you feel trapped in like situations that are not great and some of you are unsure right because that can also be you emotionally not feeling good especially if you don't have what you want right now as well or if you feel like oh I don't you know I don't know what's going to happen so it's coming, is what I want to say, okay? It's coming. So we have here letters. Now this could be um, initials, it could also spell out words for your career. So we have a C, an E, a D. We have a CD, that's interesting. CD, an E, an S, a J. Now some of you may see certain letters or words I can't see or just don't pick up on, um, so do let me know. All right. We almost spelt the word guess, which I think is very interesting. Almost, right? Um, we also got jug as well, you know, like filling up. It will be, it will get filled up, okay? So we see a lot of these cups that are quite full. Um, sure, the star is about releasing, but then your cup will be full again with opportunities. Let's see charms. So we've got here the leaf. So it shows here seasons changing, change and progression will come. Also cycles and phases. We've got here a cue. I'm not actually sure what this letter is actually doing in here. I must have put it in by accident, but we've got a Q. We've got an L and a Y, so we've got some extra letters to add here as well. Mm -hmm. These are fine, as my stomach is literally rumbling as well. 
okay, typical. Um, got a Y. You have got yes, which I think is beautiful, okay? So yes in terms of progression. So that's great. Hmm. Well, that's, yeah, that's really nice. Then we've got here, always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Sorry, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. Wow. This is like really like boosting your confidence and your energy, I feel. And then you've also got the hashtag. Hashtag is quite important. It can be to do with finding opportunities on social media or perhaps doing some work that is related to social media. So, wow. Okay. 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 That's a pretty strong vibe. Not going to lie. That's, that's pretty big. So, I see things coming together and I think this is a great remind, reminder, let's say it again, always remember you, you, yes you watching this, you are braver than you believe, sorry, I can't, I can't even read this, um, always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think and loved more than you know. Wow, really, really beautiful um, charm that we have here um, and that is what we've got, you know, so things will change. All right, so that is your reading group four. If this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on Etsy. You can follow me on TikTok, which is the Moonlight Guidance for very short videos, uh, readings and messages. And I'll see you all very soon if you choose to come back, of course, which, you know, I hope you do if you wanted to. Um, and do subscribe, of course. Um, yeah, take care, everyone. Bye.